Shabbat Shalom, Rabbi Eric Solomon, Rolling with Kilana. More morning Torah, Parshat Bamidbar, in the Bar Sinai. Our people are in the Sinai Desert, in the Book of Numbers opening, and we're wandering towards the Promised Land, and God tells Moshe to tell our people to do a census, count all the people. And Rashi, the famous rabbinic commentary, says, you know, why do we count? Why is it necessary? Well, God wants to count us just like a person wants to count precious coins and, and look at each and every one and admire it. God wants to look at every single member of the um, Israel and Jewish people and count every single one and care about every single one. Now, that teaching is very sweet. It's like a person who, you know, looks at the preciousness of, of, the, of, the, of what one has and that person is people, or family members, and God's looking at it. It's a very nice, kind, sweet reading. Um, but I want to add to that. What I think Rashi is pointing to is that God has a, a relationship, a connection with every single person. Now, on the surface, that may sound cliche, but in our contemporary life, the Amazon nation of everything, we're big data. We want to do studies of massive population where that's important and that's added to our understanding of our world. I'm not putting that down. But when you look at massive data or massive businesses, um, one of the challenges is that sense of lack of connection individually. I'll just tell a quick story about that. There's a local business here. I told this a number of years ago, but I'll bring it back. Uh, where I go to, where it's a local business, and I won't mention the specific business, but just say that I, I go, it's, it's one that helps me with one of my hobbies, we'll say. And um, they know me really, really well. I know them well. I go to them regularly to get certain products taken care of for my hobby. So um, it's, for you, it's a sport. So basically, uh, one time I went in there and the family, I went to go talk to the owner at, just to do the regular business exchange and we talk with each other. He knows I'm a rabbi. In the end, basically, when I asked him, you know, what, you know, something somehow in just the conversation that I was like running out, in and out, he he mentioned to me something about um, the holidays. I, I maybe I said to him, it was Christmas was coming, and he said to me, I never, I don't go to church. I said, okay, you know, fine, no problem. I think he wanted to let me know that because he knew I was a rabbi. He said, do you know why I don't go to church? I said, no. <laughs> and frankly, I didn't care that much. I was, but then he explained to me, he said, I don't go to church ever since two of my children died. And I was shocked. You know, I'm here, I had like an air phone in, I was like in the middle of a phone call I had to make, I had to run back to the shul. What? And right there in the store, he then told me that tragically, to make a long story short, two of his children died from a rare genetic disease. And he felt that God had abandoned him, his specific church had, and he felt that he could never walk in Stepford in the church again after his belief system had been crushed. I was, I wanted to say to him, you know, I'm holding in my prayers. I was obviously devastated. It caused me to well up with tears, but I just let him know I held his hand. I said, I'm, I'm holding you in my heart and, and thank you for sharing this with me. And that connection between us was strong and it's never been, it's always been affected by that impacted never the same. It's never just some business exchange. That's what it means to have a relationship with an individual person. You know, like cheers, where everyone knows your name. That's one of the challenges in contemporary societies. We have so much technology, distance, big one-on-one, -on -one. one person seeing the other person, connecting to them. This is not just a business owner providing a service for my sport I like to play. This is a person who we know each other's hearts, what I would say, each other's souls. That's what Rashi is talking about. When God wants to count us, each and every one of us, it's because ultimately the statement is, yes, we, we have large things. Yes, companies need to succeed. I'm not putting it all that down. It, there's a role for that, but ultimately each human being wants to be seen by God and by others. And part of our role in life, especially as we enter Shabbat, is to take time to really look in the eyes, people we love, people we know, and hopefully in our communities and people we engage in our neighborhoods and say, I see you. I'm not in too much of a rush today. Today's a day where I look at you and I honor you and you're precious to me and hopefully I'm precious to you. Wishing everyone a Shabbat Shalom.